Praise God, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Nuggets of Knowledge. Now today, I want to talk to you about some of the things God said when speaking to the Israelites through Moses. Now the scripture is taken from a very hot chapter in the Bible. It's Leviticus chapter 18. And the Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, I am the Lord your God, and you must not do as they do in Egypt, and you must not do as they do in the land of Canaan, where I'm about to bring you. Do not follow their practices at all. Now, all of the things God listed that they must not do had to do mostly with Sexual immorality. Now, some of the laws were do not have sexual relations with your relatives and do not give any of your children to be sacrificed. Do not worship or sacrifice to idols. Now, there were many other things that were an abomination and detestable to God. These were pagan practices, and he wanted to keep his people set apart and undefiled. Well now, the Israelites moved from one idol-infested country to another, and they also had contact with other cultures. Now God helped them form a new culture, and he warned them, to leave all aspects of their pagan backgrounds behind. He also warned them how easy it would be to slip back into the pagan culture where the society and religions, religions appeal to the worldly desires, especially sexual immorality and drunkenness. Just as today, God does not want his people absorbed into the surrounding culture and environment. Now, society may pressure us to conform to its way of life and thought, but yielding to that pressure will create confusion as to which side we should be on and eliminate our effectiveness in serving God. Several abominations or wicked actions are listed, such as committing adultery, offering children as sacrifices or abortion in today's world, having homosexual relations, and having sexual relations with or marrying close relatives. In other words, incest. This was prohibited by God for physical, social, and moral reasons. Children born to near relatives may experience serious health problems. These practices were common in pagan religions and cultures, and it's easy to see why God dealt harshly with those who began to follow them. Such practices led to disease, deformity, and death. They disrupt family life and society and reveal a low regard for the value of one's self and others. Society today takes some of these practices lightly, even trying to make them acceptable. But they are still sins in God's eyes. And if you consider them acceptable, you are not judging by God's standards. Whew. Wow, people. That was a mouthful and something to think about as food for thought. Okay, that will end this session 
of nuggets of knowledge. Please leave me your comments, your thoughts, and your questions. Thanks for so much for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time for Nuggets of Knowledge with Master's Meditations. God bless you all.